Welcome back to your home garage and in this video I'm going to talk to you about protective gloves and why you need to wear them. And just like many of you I've also noticed individuals detailing their cars without glove protection while handling chemicals or dealing with contaminants both inside and outside the vehicle. So I'll address this subject by talking about pH levels. And as detailers or car enthusiasts, we pay attention to pH levels of products. But are you paying as close attention to the pH level of your skin that handles all those chemicals? First off, pH stands for potential of hydrogens, and it describes your skin's level of acidity to alkalinity. The pH of our skin is essentially its water to oil balance. A balanced skin pH supports our skin in forming a healthy skin barrier, also known as the acidic mantle. The acidic mantle skin barrier is a protective, slightly acidic film on the skin's surface that keeps moisture in and keeps infectious bacteria out. Everyone's skin pH level varies naturally based on factors such as our genetics, our health and not so healthy habits, our skincare products, the time of year, the humidity levels outside, and the environmental pollutions we come in contact with every day. Now the pH scale ranges from 0 to 14 with 7 as the neutral pH level. Any levels below 7 on the pH scale is considered acidic and levels above 7 on the pH scale are considered alkaline. To give you some context, substances like battery acid and lemon juice have a very acidic low pH level. Pure water, not tap water, has neutral pH level of 7 and products like ammonia and drain cleaner have a very high alkaline pH level. The ideal pH balance for our skin is on the more acidic end of the spectrum, around 5.5 pH. When our pH balance goes out of whack, becoming more acidic or more alkaline, our skin is more susceptible to damage. A pH level of 5.5 allows the skin to combat germs. For example, if the skin on your hands is too alkaline, it becomes dry and irritated, causing a pH imbalance that can result in conditions like eczema. However, if the skin is too acidic, it becomes somewhat burnt and very sensitive to pimples and lots of redness. And when it comes to chemicals, those chemical emulsifiers are a real treat because they can completely deplete your skin of its natural oils, which serve as protection. The surfactants, such as detergents and foaming agents, throw pH levels off balance as well and are incredibly disruptive. Such surfactants are found in cleaners, detergents, solvents, and more. The skin's pH is impacted by products you use. If you're using products that are too acidic or too alkaline, you could alter the skin's pH. Even washing your hands with classic soaps are too alkaline. And I haven't even touched on the various contaminants inside the vehicle, from spills, animal hair, body oils, and so on. Along with the outside of the vehicle that may have bird droppings or other road contaminants or even mechanical such as brake dust and combustion from your exhaust. So you want to protect your skin on your hands against chemical exposure and it's easily preventable by wearing protective gloves. And choose gloves that meet your dexterity and personal protection needs. For me, I like these ones from Costco. So anything that comes into contact with your skin, even simple tap water, has an effect on pH, whether positive or negative. Now you want to start with good habits and that would be to always wear gloves. But just in case you don't currently, you can always start to restore your skin's pH balance with a few tips. First, see your doctor and start by using products suited for your skin type. By using hand cleansers with a proper pH level, you preserve the skin's protective oils and keep it from drying out. Moisturizing the skin would also help to keep your pH level balanced. And choose your product carefully. The cream should be formulated for your skin type to properly restore the hydration level and stop the destruction of the acidic mantle that helps to protect your skin so it can protect you. Bottom line, personal protection is key, so keep your gloves on when detailing both the inside and outside of the vehicle. So make sure you help to keep this channel going by hitting that like button, of course sharing this video with a friend, and please comment below as I reply to all. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Your Home Garage.